Hey guys, Persistent Programmer here and welcome to my channel. So in this channel we solve a lot of problems and today we're going to look at the problem happy number. So let's go ahead and get started right away. This problem states that write an algorithm to determine if a number n is happy. So what does this mean if the number n is happy? Um, they say that a happy number is a number defined by the following process. Starting with any positive integer, replace the number by the sum of the squares of its digits and repeat the process until the number equals 1. So let's look at this example over here. So we have 19 um, and what they have done here is they've taken the square of 1 plus the square of 9. Um, so that's 9 square is 81 plus 1 that gives you 82. And then now they've taken this 82 and then they've done 8 square which is 64 plus 2 square which is 4 so 68. So this is the way um, the algorithm needs to work to determine if we can get a final sum of 1. So that's what the problem is asking. So if this is the case, then we need to return true. Um, otherwise, we need to detect if there is a loop. So if a number is not a happy number, then what will happen is um, the sum will keep repeating itself. And we'll see an example of this when we're discussing the solution. So in that case, we need to uh, return false. Okay, so let's dive into the solution. Okay, so let's look at this example over here where n is 2. So if we were to take all the sums of 2, so 2 square is 4, and then 4 square is 16, and then at 16 we take the square of 1 and 6, so 36 plus 1, 37. And if we kept going like this, we would get um, a sum of 20. And if you look here, that um, if we take the digits out of 20 and if we um, add them up, so that gives us 2 square plus 0 square, which is 4. So we've already seen this 4 over here. And what this means is that um, there will be a continuous cycle when there is an input like this. So again, we'll take 4 and then square it, and then we'll get 16. So it's just going to go in this endless cycle over here. And this is what um, we want to say is false, right? So it's not a happy number. So we need to return false in this case. Um, and then the example that we looked at in the solution is where uh, once we keep taking the sums, we get... Um, we eventually get a 1 and that's what um, is defined as a happy number. So in this case we are going to return true. Okay now a few things to keep in mind here um, while doing the code is how to get each digit, right? So um, one of the ways that this can be done is to use the mod operator over here uh, which looks like this. So what this does is anytime we take the mod, um, we take the mod of the number uh, mod 10, it will give us um, this number. So like 19 divided, it will give us the last number um, of all the digits. So here in this case, we have 19 mod 10. So um, 19, if you divide 19 by 10, you will get a remainder of 9. So that's how we can get the last number. And you can practice over here. I've put in some logs if you haven't used the mod before, but um, this is one way to get the last number. And then, so that's okay, but how do we get, how do we get this number before it, right? And any other numbers before that? So how do we uh, move forward? So what we can do is we can take the 19 and we can divide it by 10. So um, what this would give you is one point some number, right? So if you do math.floor, what this function returns is um, anything that's any integer that is before that um, decimal value. So it's it'll, it won't round up, or, so it won't take any decimals into consideration. It will just return you um, this one over here for this case, right? So what do we need to do after this? So what we need to find the squares um, and we need to keep accumulating them. So we need to add um, 9 square, which is 81, and then we need to add 1 square, which is 1, right? So this is how you would get 82, right? So that's how you keep getting the numbers. And um, if this all makes sense, we can quickly do a walkthrough of what the solution would look like. So for this type of situation where we want to check if the number is repeating or not, um, using a set is a good candidate because 
um, a set only stores unique values. So we can we can check against the set to see, okay, does this is this number repeating? Is this sum repeating itself or not? Um, and then if it's non-repeating, then we're good. That means it could still be a happy number. So what we do is we add that number to the set, and then we will uh, we will initialize this square sum. So what we saw over here, right? So we need to do this accumulation here. Um, we need to uh, square the digits and then add them, right? And then finally, we can check if the square sum equals one, then we know it's a happy number, so we can return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false because this, if this condition does not meet, we can just return false because uh, let's take this example here, right? After this case, um, we're going to see a 4 from if we take the input as 20. And when we see that 4, we can see, oh, the set has this 4. So we know that this would be a cycle, so we can just return false. Awesome. So I'm back in the code, and I've put the question um, example up top here. So we can refer to it when coding. So the first thing I've done here is created an empty set called scene, and this is going to be used to track whether we have seen that number or not. So I can say while um, we have not seen that n. So this is our outer while loop. And now what we need to do is if we haven't seen it, we're going to add it to the set. Um, so for next time, we're not tracking the same number, right? So I can say, um, scene dot add that number all right now we need to go through each digit and we need to uh, find the square root sum so first of all i will initialize that um, square sum variable so i will say sq sum is going to be zero and and this refers to the fact that okay like we need to have um a first sum. So first it's initialized to zero and then now what we're gonna do is find this nine square and this one square and then add it up and get the uh, set the n value to 82 which is going to go back up here um, for analysis again so to see if that 82 exists in the scene right so we have initially put that um, square sum to zero and now what we're going to do is have a way to iterate over each digit. So we'll say while um, our number is greater than zero, right? Um, what we want to do is go to that uh, nine first. So we're going to say square sum is going to be uh, equal to, we're going to add to it um, the n mod 10. So this will give us the last value of the n. And we're just going to uh, times it to itself. So this is how we're going to get the square. You can also use the math.power function here um, if you want. So once we have that square sum, what we need to do then is get that uh, value before that number and also add it to the sum. So to do that, we can use the floor function. So we'll say mat.floor and we will get um, n divided by 10. So that's how we're grabbing that uh, digit before this number before it. And what we're going to do is we now have this one, for example, here. And we need to um, add, we need to set the um, n to this so it goes back up here and then adds back to the square sum again so we want to add that one square uh back here right so we are going to set n equals um mat dot floor n divided by 10 yeah so that's going to give us if our n is 19 in the first iteration it will give us the one okay so this is going to be set come back up here and yes one is greater than zero so it's going to add itself to the sum so this is how we can create a loop for the number two keep um, adding the square of itself. All right, awesome. So now what we need to see is if we're able to get that square sum equal to one or not, because if that is equal to one, then we can just return true. So we will do that check here. So we can say if square sum is equal to one, then just go ahead and return true. And if it's not one yet, so for example, if we're at 82 and we need to keep going and check um, if we have other numbers that can get us to that one, we need to send it back up to this while loop here. 
Uh, so what we're going to do is just going to set the n value. So we'll set n equals um, that square sum. So what we did here is we just set the n uh, to 82 here. So then in the next iteration, it's going to go and compute the 2 square plus 8 square 68. Um, and then set n to 68 and then go back up again. So it will keep doing that until it finds a 1. Um, so that's what we're doing here. And then if we don't find a 1 um, after we have gone through all the numbers, um, then or we've encountered the same number over, that means we're not going to get to a 1. Um, so in that case, we will return false. So we'll go ahead and return false here. Okay. Okay, it looks okay to me. I'm going to run this. Okay, accept it and submit. Yay, success.